It was a big day on Beacon Hill for rideshare companies and their workers. Two ballot questions were approved on the same day that a lawsuit was settled. Dwight News reporter Duncan McLean is live in Springfield with what happened and what it means for the future of rideshare companies in the state. Rich Taylor, it was a busy day in Boston for the rideshare industry. First, the Supreme Judicial Court approved two ballot questions to move to the next step in the approval process. One backed by industry companies, the other backed by potential union members. Then, hours later, a settlement at the Attorney General's office shook up the very policies that those ballot questions are targeting for this November. We'll begin with those ballot questions. The first one approved is backed by Uber and Lyft and would ask ask voters whether or not drivers for those companies should be classified as independent contractors or employees, which has a huge effect on pay and benefit structure. Then judges also ruled that it would be constitutionally appropriate to allow a ballot question that would propose a collective bargaining framework for these drivers, in which the state labor secretary would approve or reject negotiated changes between a potential union and those companies. Hours later, the attorney general's office reached a settlement with Uber and Lyft for a total of $175 million alongside agreements for better pay and benefits for their drivers right away. Under the settlement, drivers will get paid $32.50 an hour, both for the time it takes for them to get two potential riders, as well as driving those riders to their destination. It also came with a number of other consolations, including those companies promising to stop campaigning for the ballot question that was approved that day. It all adds up to a tumultuous future for the rideshare companies and their drivers over the next couple months here in the state of Massachusetts. Working for you live in Springfield, Duncan McLean, 22 News.